G'day everybody and welcome to another YouTube video review. Today we're going to be having a look at the DC Comics Supervillains line, The Joker. And this is the Joker action figure. And this is based on the uh, Death in the Family New 52 comic series. So you can see it there. This is the, um, the graphic novel version. And uh, the one that came with the nice cover too. So you basically see there, uh, Joker's got his mask. Looks like it's uh, stapled back on. Or if you want to remove the cover, you can sort of... Take Joker's uh, face back off. But um, yeah, great comic, uh, great line, and great adaptation of the figure from the comic. So a little bit different to the usual Jokers we see, but um, as I said, when he's sitting next to Batman, he, uh, he looks really good. So um, as you can see here in his Joe's Garage outfit, uh, taken straight from the comic book. So again, I'll show you in there. You can see that uh, there's the Joker. Try and zoom that for you there. And um, just in the comics, so they pretty much kept true to form. So there's, there's not too much of a change uh, in there whatsoever. Maybe just a slight color variation, but that's uh, about it. But the main thing with this figure is really that face, and hopefully that's picking up for you when I zoom in. Uh, you can see there the detail. They really have captured everything where he's, you know, got his skin back and he's placed it back on around his face. You know, you've got the hair, you've got a little bit of showing of the, the muscle and sinew and the tissue that would have been under the skin. Uh, but really uh, is, a, is a great job on a, on a figure, especially for a six-inch figure. Uh, in Australia here, it was $30. In the States, I think it's a little bit cheaper, probably around the $20 mark. But when you're paying that price for a figure, the detail you actually get is, uh, is quite good. So I'll spin him around now, so have a look at the back. Uh, you can see there the Joe's Garage uniform. Uh, and then there's the... Bit of a looks like a, a belt holding the helping hold the mask on to the back of the head there. Um, nice articulation. You can uh, get the swivel in the in the head, uh, in the shoulders, in the elbows, in the wrists, and then coming down, you've got some in the knees and in the ankles as well. Comes with a tool belt. Comes with some tools as well. So you can see there. Some of them are removable. So we've got the monkey wrench, the pliers there, the little nose pliers you can remove. The other uh, tools are pretty much stuck into the belt, moulded into the belt, you can't remove them. has a hammer that you can remove as well, so you can pose him with the hammer as well. Or you've got this saw, you know, the saw blade here, that I've got him posed with um, there right now. But you've got the Joe's Garage above the pocket there, or the name tag Joe. And uh, as I said, it's, it's all about the face with this figure. And uh, they've done a great job of capturing that. As I said, you can, you can just see there from that shot, um, even the colouring in the teeth, the eyes. He looks a little bit upset that uh, someone sliced his face off and he wants um, a little bit of revenge. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope that's uh, you know, encouraged you to, to go out and either maybe pick up this figure. Um, there is a variation on it. Uh, there was, a, I think, the supervillain pack where there was a few good guys and bad guys, Batman and such. Uh, and in that pack, Joker's actually in orange. His shirt's orange and his pants are orange. But I went for the uh, this version because, as I said, keeping in... Uh, in true form with the, the comic book. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, just hang around because I'm going to um, do a review of this big fella here, Bane. He's the, the re-release uh, that came out. And uh, But anyway, thanks for watching. Keep subscribing. Keep liking the Facebook page. And cheers.